tonight? Yeah, good night, everyone. Uh, yeah, we did a good job today. Um, I think too much rhythm in the beginning of the game. <laughs> and Benfica, good job trying to keep it until the end. Yeah, when you have space, you have to give, uh, you have to make an amazing effort to um, take advantage about all the opportunities we had. I think we deserve the, the victory. I am happy because the performance was okay. Mm. A good training for the future and happy. Jonathan, were you surprised at how Benfica started the game? Because it wasn't until you scored that I felt like you really took control of the game. Was there any moment in your mind where you thought you had to adjust something tactically? Yes, yes, because uh, yeah, we, we expected the 1v1 situation almost or the pitch. And yeah, they trying to open up the game uh, for um, Ingrid, not giving the option to, to attack for the for the map side. And yeah, it's, we have to adapt the position of um, Mariona in the second half with Patri, trying to be in uh, better places uh, to occupy the, the back of uh, Jessica Silva. Yeah, after that, I think we were better because we find the... Uh, the, the free player to, to make an easier build up and after that yeah we were clinical in the last uh, meter we, we, we concede um, I think a few opportunities for the opposing team mm. I, I think a, a good job today. Overall you can definitely say it was a very good job wasn't it a nice little Manita to take home in day one of uh, the match day but we obviously want to know a little bit about the situation of Alexia if you can fill us in a little bit we saw she was clearly very uncomfortable in that first half came over to talk to you during the break um, how is she feeling do we know anything about how serious the injury is? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was talking with the doctor in the halftime and he told me that uh, we, we had to make the substitution. I don't know right now because it's just the finish of the game. Okay. We have to wait a little more because I have no news. Jonathan, just a little one from me. How do you continue every single year? I asked Kieran Atana a second ago, you know, you're at the top, how difficult it is to stay there. But how do you as a coach continue to get your players going for these yeah. types of games every mm. single year? Yeah, for me, the most important thing is the training session. It's not only talking about the game. What we have to do is what we have to do every day when we train. What what you make after the training session, if the recovery is okay, if you sleep okay, everything I think is very important. When you are at the high level, you have to compete with the best and try to be the best in and out of the pitch. And after that, try to make a good and health competition mm. in the training session. That is very important for me because if you have a good... Uh, competitiveness in the training session, it will be easier after in the weekend uh, have this kind of uh, performance. By the way, it's not only talking about the, the game, it's talk about the, the what we make every day to mm. try to be the best, try to be the best uh, players in the world and try to compete with the best as well. Talking about the weekend and coming up against some of the best in the world, Real Madrid on Sunday, eight World Cup winners in that side. How are you... Um, looking at this one, the first Clasico of the season? Yeah, it will be funny uh, because uh, the supporters here are very happy when we play against uh, Real Madrid, we'll be in Montjuic, so a special place for us, played there, and I say everyone that they have to go to the stadium, give us the, <laughs> the support that we need, they are very important for us, yeah, uh, it will be an important game because they are three, three, um, we are three points above right now, but uh, yeah, it will be very important because if we get a victory, it will be um, a good distance for mm. the second qualifier right now, Real Madrid and Madrid F as well, that uh, they are competing as well at a high level. But yeah, um, the most important thing right now is try <laughs> to recover, uh, make a good uh, training session and prepare mm. as best as possible the next game. Yeah, I want to ask you a little bit about your team selection tonight. How difficult is it picking a team, you know, because obviously I'm from England, Lucy Bronze, former teammate of mine, she was on the bench tonight, Paolo Luello started the, the game on the bench after getting five goals in two games. How do you as a coach yeah. keep everybody happy? Yeah, uh, yeah, we had the game um, three days ago. We had to play after four days, you know. Mm. Uh, you have to, to, to make a good balance and try to find the best player for compete every game, not compete with the only uh, 11, 12, 13 players. We have a good squad to compete every game at a high level so for me it's very important uh, to have this kind of identity mm. uh, it doesn't matter who is playing uh, the style is recognized when you are mm. seeing Barca by the way yeah mm, I think Lucy Bronze today she had two important games in the last week uh, Kira Walls as well 
Uh, Salma Parajuelo, yeah, we have a lot of players. We have to give uh, good rest. And <laughs> good luck to you telling Bronzy yeah. she's not playing. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. Well, he seems to have had the formula worked out pretty well. And actually, one of the players who stands out head and shoulders above the rest, of course. And you talk about someone who really embodies and personifies what it yeah. is to be a boss and a player. You probably know where I'm going yeah. with this. Aitana Bomadi, who had a brilliant night once more. Yes. She's in an important moment uh, because, uh, look, uh, she's running completely in 1v1 situation after that she makes a pass and she's an option again to receive the ball. She's brilliant because she's an um, amazing player, you know. When we have the space to threaten behind, mm. she's one of the best running, she's one of the best shielding the ball, she's one of the best passes, she's one of the best finishing. So one we of have the best to... reading the game as yeah. well. Yeah, and, and the reading she has always is uh, high. Sometimes in the training session I have to say, Aitana, please, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> after the game we have to recover the game. But uh, yeah, she's, we have to protect her because she's an important player for us. With Alexia as well, if she's able to continue to play going forward, but tonight they were very interchangeable, Bon Mati mm. and Alexia, and obviously yes. Bon Mati last season mm. was yeah. so integral in your success. Mm. Is that something you've worked on, being them interchangeable in that front line area in midfield runners? Yes, uh, when you play with um, a midfielder playing as a nine, you have to uh, think that when she received in the square, just behind the, the midfielder line, you have to find solutions when the centre back is closing down. You know, by the way, we have Mariona, uh, we have uh, Aitana, and as well we have uh, Caro and Esme be ready to threaten behind. And today, for example, Esme, I think she did a good job. Sometimes she didn't receive the ball, but uh, when she stretched, the defensive line is very important because she's ready all the time to threaten behind. Yeah, I said that to Semra. Caroline Graham Hansen, I think, because she's part of a team that has like these world-class players. Yeah. Mm. She's also a world-class player, but also, yeah. I think, goes under the radar a yeah. lot. Yeah. Well, talking about world-class players and world-class goals, sorry, I know we've oh. seen quite a lot already, but I think perhaps we've actually saved the best for last because Oshwala, what with her first touch of the game, a Chilena, a bicycle kick is absolutely beautiful. Just 40 seconds after coming yeah. on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing because I think it's the first touch she had with the ball. Mm. And uh, yeah, I remember the last season she scored an amazing goal as well from 30 meters. And I am very happy because when she's concentrated, when she's ready all the time, if she played 20s, 50, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. She, she's in a good place and, uh, and the finishing is uh, very, very clinical. Does, do does she do this often in training, by the way? I, th I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember, but it's the only solution she had. So very clinical. It's a great goal. I, I've never scored a goal like that in my career, but I feel for her, Suala, because last year, you know, in the final, had that injury, couldn't play. Yeah. So she's a, pl a great player for you to be able to bring off the bench. Yeah, 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 yeah because uh, she had different charges, you know, when you play with Alexia, it's a uh, kind of uh, charges to play uh, as a midfielder, and when you play with Salma or when you play with uh, with Asisa, she's ready all the time to throw in behind. She's a, a strong player. By the way, when she's with the uh, you know, uh, with uh, good energy mm. and try to help to the to the team. She's ready all the time. And to good hair. Yeah, we have, yeah. She <laughs> She's modified. She's giving you a run for your money. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna have to step up my hair game. <laughs> she, she modified the color when the dynamic is not okay. By the way, I think she has to keep the color now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it. Well, brilliant. Thank you so very Thanks much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you to you. Have a good day. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.